Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about many to one unidirectional, and uh, this time we're gonna use in join table. So, uh, from last video, we talked about a join column, right? Which means when we have uh, the person has many address, address belongs to one of the person. And here, by default, it's gonna be join column. So why do we need to have a join table? The problem, uh, you probably have uh, one case is, uh, suppose this address table, okay? And uh, you allow the person to be none, which means uh, when we insert a value to the person, uh, to the address, we allow this foreigner key to be none. And uh, if we have so many records, which the person ID is wrong, is none inside the address, we will talk, we will think this is a not a normalized uh, table. Because uh, uh, for a table is normalized, it doesn't allow more than one none column, okay, none value. Uh, record rows okay so in this case we can using join table to solve the problem okay so let me show you how to using join table uh, very simple here by default is a join column and uh, we're using join column annotation to specify a customized foreign key name right and to using join table we just tell Hibernate, force it to using join table. And here we can give a join table name. What do you want? We can use in person address, okay? I think the name is uh, not an optional. Okay, I would think it's optional. Anyway, normally we will give. And then we will give, uh, oh, so if we, Let's, I'm not sure if a join uh, table, the name is optional. We just do a join table and see if it has a problem, okay? Normally, we are, I will customize my own um, a table name and also the column name in the join table. Mm, yes. See here, annotation, join table that name on to one has to be explicit. So we have to give a join table and we have to give a name here. Okay, like uh, give a person address. Hey, but uh, when we take a look at the annotation, here it is say optional. Why, if it's optional, then why it has exception? Okay, so from here, probably you will already see. See here, I have one table, two table, three table. And let's take a look at this one. Uh, I will refresh it. And let's take a look at the person. No change in the person, which is uh, person ID, first name, last name, right? And let's go to address. Address, here you want to see this uh, foreign key. Okay, it will only has a three three column okay id street address but instead since we're using join table it's gonna have a join table here and a join table will con contains two column the first column this one is what this one is a person id which is uh, the person object this id but when it generated the uh, foreign key, uh, when it ger generate the two foreign key for us, it's gonna using this one, person then underscore person ID. This is the person's ID, and for the second one, this ID is address ID because in our case for the address, the ID is this name, 
So the yeah, content, the join table contains two columns. One is the person ID, the other one is the address ID, and both of them become a composite key. Okay, one person will have one address, and the same person can have more address. And also, we don't like the auto generate the, the column name. We can customize. To customize, you continue here using join column. The first join column will specify, I think it's an array, right? Yes, it's an array. The first one we will using array is the breast. And here we're using join column and give a name, right? Give a uh, give name uh, give name equals uh, person ID and uh, we also need to set for the other side which is inverse join column. This one is to set for the address ID and uh, here we're using name. Yo, oh, sorry. Name is address ID. So in this in this case, you customize the the ta join table name and the two join column name. Okay, so let me show you. Run. It's better to customize. Otherwise, you don't know what's gonna be generated, right? And it probably is gonna be very ugly. Okay, done. And uh, let's go to the MySQL workbench. No change in the person, three column, and no change in the address, three column. And it's gonna have a additional table which act as a join table. And now these two are changed. One is address ID, the other one is a person ID. Okay, so this is the many to one join column. And uh, when we're using many to one, uh, when we're using a join table with the many to one, it's it's most of the case is uh, you allow the address to have a newable, okay, rec uh, newable records uh, rows, and uh, for a newable, you know, as a normalization, normalization doesn't like a newable uh, columns. So in this case, we refactor join column to be join table. So if we don't have, if address doesn't have a person, right? Then we there's no record in the join table. So for the person table, address table, and a join ta join table, in this case, person and address, all of them will be normalized tables. But uh, if we only has a person and address, and if this uh, column foreign key has lots mm -hmm. of uh, newable, the address is not a normalized table. So choose what you want, okay? That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.